Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our isolation of the active ingredient in an analgesic drug experiment. In this experiment, we will extract the active ingredient of an analgesic drug by mixing the powdered tablet with the solvent methanol. We will then use centrifugation and filtration to remove any particles of binder. After isolation, we will test the purity of the drug by performing a melting point determination. Let's get started. The analgesic drug that we will be using for this experiment is ibuprofen. Each tablet contains 200 milligrams of the active ingredient ibuprofen. We will be using two tablets for a total of 400 milligrams of the active ingredient ibuprofen. We will place our two tablets in between two sheets of whey paper and crush them using a pestle. We'll then transfer our powdered tablets to a three milliliter conical vial. We'll next add two milliliters of methanol to our three milliliter conical vial and cap the vial. We'll then mix by shaking and loosen the cap periodically to release any pressure. We'll then set the vial back down and allow any undissolved material to settle to the bottom. We will next transfer our liquid phase to a centrifuge tube using a filter tip pipette. We'll then add a second two milliliter portion of methanol to our three milliliter conical vial and repeat the shaking process. We next need to transfer our second extract into the same centrifuge tube as our first extract and we'll load our centrifuge tube and a balance into the centrifuge and centrifuge for two to three minutes. After the centrifugation of our extract, we will purify our ibuprofen using column chromatography. We set up our column here using 0.5 grams of alumina. We'll first load two milliliters of methanol onto our column and collect the methanol in a beaker. Once the level of the methanol is just above the level of the alumina, we will place a five mil conical vial underneath the column and load our supernatant liquid from our extracts onto the column. We will collect the supernatant liquid from our extracts in the five mil conical vial. Once the supernatant liquid of the extract has drained from the column, we will load an additional one milliliter of methanol onto the column to make sure that we have eluded all of the ibuprofen off of our column.
Once the column has finished running, we will need to evaporate off the methanol from our five mil conical vial using a warm water bath. We are now evaporating off the methanol from our five milliliter conical vial by placing it in a warm water bath and directing a stream of air into the five milliliter conical vial. Once the level of liquid in the vial appears to no longer be evaporating, we will induce crystallization of our ibuprofen by placing the vial in an ice water bath. After our ibuprofen is crystallized, we will collect our crystals using vacuum filtration. We need to set up a vacuum filtration apparatus with a Hirsch funnel and filter paper. We will wet our filter paper with a few drops of methanol and then we will turn on the vacuum. We'll then transfer the material in our conical vial to the Hirsch funnel and allow the vacuum to run for an additional five to 10 minutes so that our crystals dry. While our crystals continue to dry, we need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our watch glass is 35.3622 grams. We next need to transfer our dried crystals to our pre-weighed watch glass. We'll now determine the mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our ibuprofen crystals. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass plus our purified ibuprofen crystals is 35.6691 grams. We will now determine the melting point of our isolated ibuprofen. Okay, students, we've now used extraction, column chromatography, vacuum filtration, and melting point determination to isolate ibuprofen from an analgesic drug and test its purity. This concludes our isolation of the active ingredient in an analgesic drug experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.